Once you've logged into your Home Swapper account, on your dashboard you'll see a messages button in the left hand menu and also in the menu bar at the top of the page. So on the left you'll be able to see who you have messages waiting from and once you click on the message the content will appear in the right hand section of the screen. You'll be able to see all messages that you have sent to the other user by clicking on load earlier messages in the right hand section. You can look through the entire conversation. Above each message you will see how long ago the message was sent to you. There is a simple colour system to your inbox. Any messages in blue are unread and any messages in red are ones you need to reply to before you can use all the functions on the HomeSwapper site. This makes sure that everyone on HomeSwapper receives replies from other users, even if it's a polite no thank you. If you are not interested in proposals or you have found other matches that better suit you, explain this so that people aren't wasting their time waiting for you. If you'd like to check the messages from a particular user you've been in touch with, you can search for them directly in the box in the messages section on the left. Just make sure you check the spelling of their username before searching. In the messages section on the left, you'll be able to see how long ago the user was last online. And if they're online right now, a green dot will appear next to their name. If you like the look of someone's home, then get chatting. To start a conversation with someone, once you're on their advert, simply click on the Message Tenant button to the right of their advert. You will be taken straight to your inbox, where as long as you don't have any messages that need replying to, you will be able to start writing them a message, letting them know that you'd like to talk about a swap. If you're not sure of exactly what to write, then we've created some suggestions to get the conversation started. Simply click on the See Message Suggestions option underneath the message box and suggestions will appear. The suggested messages are varied. You can show interest in someone's advert, ask someone to send photos of their home and also let someone down if you're not interested in their property. So there's really no reason not to reply to other users. Once you've chosen the one you think is best, click on Use and this will appear in the message box. You can then edit the message if you'd like to. Once you start a conversation with other swappers, you'll see that your messages will appear on the right and the other swappers message will show on the left. We will also let you know when your message has been seen by the other user. If someone has asked you to send them a photo, then you can do this very simply here as well. Underneath the message box is also the option to send a photo. Click on this and you will be able to look through the photos on your computer and choose which one to upload and to send to the other swapper. If you receive a message from another user about swapping or would like to see more details about their home, then you can go straight through your inbox to view their advert and see if you're interested. Just click on the View Profile button when you're in their message, which is at the top of the messaging section. This will open up a quick view window that gives you the basic details about their home, main photo and the badges they have. You can see the advert in full by clicking on View Full Details under the Advert Details. If the conversation with another swapper has come to a natural end, you can delete the whole conversation at the top of the messaging section. If you'd like to delete individual messages from a user, then you can do this by clicking on the dustbin icon next to the message itself. A 
Unfortunately, sometimes users aren't always as kind to other swappers as we would like. If this is the case and you would like to stop receiving messages from other users, then you can block them by using the block user button. The other user won't be notified that you have blocked them, but they will no longer be able to message you. There's your simple guide to using the Home Swapper messaging function.